I'm gonna quickly use this potato pot one more time. I'm gonna give it a quick rinse. Nothing crazy. We're gonna make a quick sauce out of this, uh, but I need my I need my uh, my steaks to come out first. So I'm just gonna give this a real quick rinse. Again, it's only had potatoes and water in it. We boiled the potatoes in it. That's it. A little bit of starchy water. That doesn't bother me at all. If I was on a professional cooking show with people who are washing my dishes for me and that kind of stuff, I would use a brand new pot every time. But you know what? A little bit of starchy water. Don't fucking care. <laughs> okay. Get that out of the way. Get that over here. Here we go. First off, we're going to show off the old pièce de résistance. Let me grab this bad boy out of here. Okay, here it is, my friends. Straight out of the sous vide. This is a... Ooh, back it up so you guys can actually see it. This is a just shy of three pound, a two and a half inch thick tomahawk rib steak. Okay, I put it in before the stream even started because it's been in the sous vide for two and a half hours. Okay. Look at this bad boy. Um, in in the bag with it is just some raw garlic and some rosemary. That's it. I seasoned this thing heavily with salt, salt, pepper, cayenne, paprika, um, onion powder, garlic powder. I'll show you. I cheated. This is Joe's Joe Joe's Kansas City barbecue seasoning. It's their big meat seasoning. I put this shit on so much. Um, Mrs. Wynn and I, we had the opportunity to go to opening day of the Major League Baseball season in 2019. We had a chance to go to Kansas City. When I was going down there, I was asking people, hey, you know, what do you guys recommend? Um, 50 degrees C. Um, 50 C. Give me one sec. How long do you see the, the creme brulee? The creme brulee goes in for 45 minutes. 45 minutes at 190, 195, 196 C. Oh, the steak, the steak I did, the steak I did two and a half hours at 130 degrees Fahrenheit. So that is uh, 30, 38 degrees Celsius. No, no, 40, 42 degrees Celsius, 50 degrees Celsius. Anyways. I'm so bad at the, look, I've been drinking pretty heavily, okay? Let's let's just, you know, we, we've been rocking the Moscow mules a little bit here. Yeah, Mrs. Wynn just walked by indeed. I'm going to cut this bad boy open. The thing I want when I open this bad boy up, we're going to slap this on a plate. I'm going to take this outside. I'm going to sear this off. I have, Like I said, I have my barbecue going, sitting at just under 1,000 degrees Fahrenheit. Oh, oh, get out of here. We're going to save all this garlic and stuff off of it. Oh, my God. This thing. Uh, sorry, I'm uh, I'm getting a bit emotional over here. This is, a, this is a thing of beauty, my friends. Look at this, bad boy. Oh, oh my God. This is gorgeous. 54. Face reveal. Yeah, Mrs. Wynn shows her face all the time. Man, there's actually, there's no real juices in here whatsoever. That's the best part. I'm going to chuck all this, all this, uh, all this garlic, all this, um, oh, we're going to set this off to the side here for a quick sec. Let's this bad boy rest. So all the garlic, all the, uh, all the rosemary is going in. We're going to add steak looking juicy. Hell yeah, brother. Hell yeah. We're going to add some more shallot. I have another shallot right here. I'm going to quickly split this open. I think the difference between... It's 32 degrees and then it's times 1.8. It's a real mess. Okay. We're just going to cut... We're going to cut these off. That's going to go... That bag is going to go in the garbage. I just want a little bit of shallot to chuck in here as well. Again, same thing as always. What we're going to do is we're just making some slices in here. Watch your fingers. 1.8. Too much. Yeah, I know, right? I can't remember if it's 1.8 and then add 32 or add 32 and then 1.8. I think it's 1.8 first and then 32. 
Or you can just Google the calculation, and that's it. Yeah. Google is my go-to? Hell yeah, my friend. Hell yeah. Okay. Would it not make the same answer? All right, it's, uh, well, if you're adding 32 and then multiplying by 1.8, it's going to put it off by a few degrees. Okay, shall it in. I hate maths. Okay, shall it in, garlic in. Turn that on. Again, a little more butter. My head hurts. <laughs> um, more butter, because you know what? Everything is better with butter. Boom, there it is. Okay. British Columbia, British Columbia, Garinger Brothers Merlot. One thing I one thing that I tell people about cooking with wine, if you're gonna cook with wine and you wouldn't drink it, why are you cooking with it? Just throwing that out there. I also need a bit of beef stock. I don't have any beef stock kicking around. Do we have any beef paste still? Where's that at? Okay, Mrs. Wynn's going to handle that. There's the torch. Oh, there's the beef paste behind it. Okay, if you, yeah, if you're, if you're going to cook with, uh, if this is again, another thing that's not from Alberta, I'm sorry. I feel so bad. This is just some like, basically like concentrated beef paste. Almost like a concentrated demi-glaze. Um, so we're going to use the concentrated demi-glaze, some water. I want this to be nice and beefy. There it is. So just going to let all this kind of melt. Um, man, do I ever hate this thing sometimes. There we go. Get it going. Guys, I appreciate all of your mod work, um, just so you know. Especially because, like, it's super hard for me to follow chat for a lot of this. Man, do I have a bunch of dishes to do later as well. It's all good. We're going to make it work. I have just, like, this, this, like mess of garbage in the one sink because that's where i just threw all the garbage in there um plus empties of which there's there's quite a few so we're going to cook this down guys we're going to let this all cook uh, again what you want to do is you want to use like <laughs> you want to use any sort of beef juices that are that come out of the bag this bad boy did not give us much of anything look at this Again, if you want to see the, a side profile of this bad boy, oh, you know, I'm not going to lie. I mean, I don't have the smallest hands in the world, but like, this thing is like slap your mother good, okay? I can already tell. Oh, I'm excited. Okay. Let this cook out. Gonna get the garlic and the shallot cooked out just a little bit, guys. Slap your mother good, it's true. I'm not even gonna add all that. I'm just gonna get rid of this. I have the mines right there. Again. Oh, like come on. Like bold, fruity. Smells of cherries, smells of like, definitely like, like red fruit, like, like black currants, raspberries, cherries, a little bit of leather. Oh, who doesn't love leather? Add a bit of this in there. true i'm gonna go sear this bad boy off so i'm actually gonna mute my mic here for a hot second i'm gonna take my microphone off so i can go outside and it doesn't blow your eardrums out if i disconnect it or something like that i'm gonna mute this give me one second make sure my sauce doesn't 
fucking go to shit on me. Basically what I want to do is I want this thing to boil like a mad motherfucker. I want it to boil and I want it to reduce by about half. And then uh, we have the butter in the fridge. We got a little bit of sauce going on here. We're going to go, yeah, we're going to go sear this. What mic am I using? I actually just bought a brand new lavalier mic. It's, it's, it was like 30 bucks, dude, 30 bucks. Nothing crazy. It's just a little lapel mic right here. Um, just join, but I'll add you. Yeah, man, for sure. Do it up. Like send me a, send me a DM. Anything you need to know, dude, if, if it's about streaming, if it's about cooking, if you got questions, if you just want to know what my favorite baseball team is, it's the Yankees, by the way. Um, then like, I'm just going to let that go. Um, yeah, just, just like, just reach out, dude, man. I'm here for you. I'm here. I'd love to chat with you all day, all day, all day. Garbage team. God damn it, Darren. Why has nobody redeemed, uh, time Darren out? <laughs> just getting there. Like if you got questions or something, man, let me know. I am here to help you. I'm here to help you 100%. If you got questions, I got answers. I can't guarantee they're the best answers. Also, we're on kind of conflicting time zones as you're in Australia. I'm up here in Canada. We will make it work, chef. We will make it work. I shit you not. God, that smells good. Man, this Demi. Oh, the Demi, the red wine, the rosemary. I wish you guys could smell this right now, guys. This is on point. Absolutely. Just like the perfect, we're going to reduce this down. I'm going to do a day show. Yeah, you got her. Uh, okay, I'm going to mute the mic. I'm going to go sear this steak. I'll be back in like two minutes, guys. This is going to keep reducing. We're just going to let this run. BRB. All right, guys, here we go. So this is the final product. We're going to let this rest for about 10 minutes. Let me pull this back so you can actually see it. Um, there you go. Like seared, like a minute on each side kind of thing, minute and a half on each side. Um, Mrs. Wynn and I love our steak nice and rare. So this is going to be a nice, rare uh, tomahawk. This sauce, again, it could easily reduce a bit more. I'm trying to... Oh, shit, that's good. Woohoo! God damn, that's good. Okay. So, thanks, Zell. Okay, what we're going to do, we're going to leave this nice and low. We're actually going to turn the heat right off of it. And uh, we're just going to mount this sauce with some butter because everything's better with butter. Let's just call it what it is. All right. We're just going to quickly stir this in. Add some richness to this sauce. Oh, God, man. Like I said, if anybody wants to come over, now's the time because shit is about to get real. Okay. We're just going to let that sit like that for a hot minute. Oh my God, guys. I am stoked. Uh, cheers. Uh, I'm going to grab some of the creme brulees that I've already sous vide a little bit. I'm going to show you how to finish them or like how I finish them. Again, super easy. If you have a torch, if you don't, pick up a little torch from... Uh, what do we got here? Oh, ah, there we go. So... Little, little torch, pick it up from Amazon. Come on now. There we go. Okay, super easy. Little butane number. Um, little, bit of, little bit of white sugar, no problem. Here we go. This guy is going to rest. We're going to let this steak rest for about 10 minutes just to let all those juices come back in. Again, this is like a nice rare, maybe up to a medium rare at most. Only missing some spicy peppers. Juan, I'm there, man. I would love some spicy peppers. I actually thought about making like a pepper anata with this. Um, instead, I decided to make this sauce instead. Again, like a like a really rich, like a demi glaze sauce, right? A little bit of red wine. I'm just gonna grab two because there's no. We'll just we'll grab two for now. And here's the compound butter we made at the start of the stream. 
Rip music. It's all good. See, so this is this is what you're trying to avoid, and this is why sometimes letting it run is just a little bit better. See, so what we do is you can just kind of if it's if it's super frothy, you can usually just kind of scrape the froth off of it. Usually it sits really loose. Looks like that, guys. All we're gonna do take a little bit of white sugar, just a little pinch. You really don't need much. Put a bit of white sugar on here. Again, just your standard, standard granulated white sugar. Come on now. There we go. We're just gonna torch this bad boy. Again, don't get too close with the torch. Thank you very much, chef. Okay, get yourself a nice torch on there. Let that set up. Some wind, some wind outside. There we go. Look just like that. That's going to form a nice crust on the top of it. We're just going to set that aside. That's going to be our dessert. So again, with this, take your chef's knife. Just knock like the first little bit is never that great. Although in this particular instance, we're going to use it anyways. Okay, cut yourself some uh, cut yourself some rounds out of this. Don't forget that you left the plastic on it because that's going to be really embarrassing if somebody gets plastic with their butter. Okay, there goes that. Cut yourself some nice man some nice medallions of butter. What's what's the butter? So this is just organic butter, um, garlic, shallots, rosemary, and that's it. Like that's, that's really it. Keeping it super simple. Okay. I'm going to set this guy off to the side. Cause I thought I was going to do two. I decided I'm only going to do one. There it is. God, that tastes good by the way. Okay. We're going to set that aside. This sauce is going to move out of the way. That's a lie. We'll just move this pan out of the way. Oh, sorry. I realize that you guys can't see it. I put it too too damn far up. Okay. Here we go. Dinner's just about to be served, guys. So, we have truffle mashed potatoes. Okay, just right here. Little truffle mash. Okay. Maple glazed carrots. Whew. Maple maple dill carrots right there. These are nice and warm. One second. I'm gonna reglaze this real quick as we as we're ready to go. So here's a caprese salad made with heirloom tomatoes, buffalo mozzarella. Finish it with a fresh a fresh coat of glaze. There we go. Balsamic glaze on there. But a boom, right? So heirloom tomatoes, um, heirloom tomatoes, basil, salt, pepper, garlic, shallots, buffalo mozzarella. We're going to set this over here. Okay. Here we go. Ready for this, guys? I have a, sp I have a special plate for this for when we plate this. sorry come on now there we go okay this right here have a nice slate plate a nice slate serving tray we wipe that down before we went um okay here we go we're gonna cut when we cut it we're gonna just cut it across some reasonable holy fuck <laughs> get out of here guys Get out of here. Guys. Like. Come on. Okay. Nice slices. What did you season the steak with? Mary, give me one second and I'll show you. 
Okay. So that's sous vide at 54 degrees C. That's exact. Yep. Sous vide at 54 degrees C finished on a, on a, about a thousand degree, thousand degree Fahrenheit. Um, grill. There we go. This one's going to be a bit of a pain because I'm coming up on the bone here. Let me just cut through that. Oh, that's, that's good stuff. Yes, I realize it was a really big piece. No, I don't really care. Okay. I was going to lay this out for a presentation here real quick. Okay. Oh. Wipe down my cutting board. We're just going to use this one and we're almost done here, guys. We're just going to put a few a few dabs of butter on top of there. And then honestly, all you need to do to finish it, take a little bit of this sauce, just run it over top. There it is. There we are, my friends. And then, of course, Earl Grey creme brulee for dessert. There it is. Yeah. Bon appetit, guys. Bon appetit. Guys, thank you so much for being here. Um, this is like my very first. This is my very first cooking stream I've ever done. Um, again, I don't always do cooking streams. This is the first one I've ever done. We did this um, because we hit a sub milestone. And I said, look, if we hit this sub milestone, we'll do a cooking stream. Of course, you can't tell the winner's circle that there's some sort of a challenge. Um, yeah, no, you're totally welcome, Zell. Um, so, like, you can't you can't tell the winner's circle that there's a challenge because people will just absolutely lose their minds and uh, totally back you up on your challenge. So thank you so much for, for being here for this if you haven't done so already, please join my Discord, uh, exclamation point Discord, if you have, if you need that link. Sea Chef, make sure you whisper me on Discord. I'm not going to guarantee that I'm going to get back to you right away. I got, I got a, a steak and, you know, some, some potatoes and some carrots and a salad to work my way through, but I'll get there in a bit. Um, you know, uh, make sure you grab the appropriate. Uh, Make sure you grab the appropriate stuff. Like I said, whisper me on Discord, dude. Sea Chef, I would love to chat with you about food. I would love to chat with you about streaming. I'd love to chat with you about life. I would, I just want to chat with you. Like I, you know, I I really I really appreciate you being here and chatting with me, guys. Thank you so much for being here again. You guys are incredible. Oh, sorry, I forgot. A couple more things just on top of the mashed potatoes. I'll show you guys here in just a sec. Let me get this out of here. Okay, move the mashed potatoes into the thing. I'm just going to quickly slice up some more black truffle. Uh, I was going to do it on the mandolin, and I just, you know what? Like, I have knife skills. Let's just show them off, guys. You know, here we are. A couple of, couple of uh, slices of black truffle on top, right? There we are. There. And, of course, just a quick finish with a bit of truffle oil. Yeah. Boom. Done. 